the show guys were going to be here. All I've got is YouTube. This is what you got. This is what you get, Dave. <laughs> there are a couple more. They're just hiding from you. You've got a bad reputation. There are reinforcements all around the country, <laughs> though. Okay, yeah. guys. Now, come on. <laughs> yeah. Now, Pickle Strut was supposed to go here, but with the bad weather, they weren't able to get some airplanes here. But you guys are involved in Pickle Strut. How, how explain how this all starts. Well, I am a glider flight instructor. And I found that they have this wonderful thing called a Cenus. And I flew it from Minnesota to Florida for Sun and Fun 2011. Delightful airplane. We brought it down again this year, uh, seven hours from the Twin Cities to Denver. But then we had a taxi accident and I dinged up the prop and so it's, it's at Centennial, not here. So, poor Arrow can't get in here to show the local guys airplanes because you dinged the prop up. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the guilty party, I'm sorry to admit it. But it was a delightful flight, seven hours and 14 minutes non-stop from the Twin Cities on about 22 gallons of gas. Work the numbers. They're very impressive. So, Aaron, how are you tied into all of this? Well, Dave, we're the new dealer for uh, a big part of the central part of the United States. And so we're just now learning about the Pipistrol ourselves, but we're the new representative for, for this area, for, for Colorado. And we have a CNIS motor glider on order, which we'll see here next month. And we also have, and we'll talk about it, I think, our short wing version of the Virus, which is basically the same fuselage, uh, but it can go a lot faster than the, than the motor glider. So uh, this is a company, Pipistrol, which is in Sylvania, which makes several models. And most of the people that will be watching this may have learned recently about Pipistrol because they just won the NASA contest, which is $1.35 million. Yeah, that's not the first time they've won. It's not the, no, they've been winning the NASA contest regularly and embarrassing everybody, this little company in, you know, in Slovenia. So when you see some of the demonstrators, you'll see all kinds of logos on the side. NASA, winter 2007, 2008, this new G4, which was the one that's the all-electric, single-engine, four-place airplane that flew how many miles? on the battery last year? Uh, it was 200 miles, at least 100 miles an hour, and uh, the uh, equivalent of 400 miles per gallon, basically. Yeah. 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 So they took all of the honors in that contest. And we'll see what they do, what they come up with next year. But this is quite an interesting company. U.S. Air has been in business for a long time, since uh, 2000, selling airplanes. Uh, and we're familiar with a lot of different aircraft manufacturers. But we're fascinated by Pipistrol. I've been to their factory, and it's an amazing place. How you're, you're sitting here in Colorado, they're in Sylvania, which yeah. is, how did you get tied up and find out about them and get to know about them? Well, like so many people, we learned, we learned about Pipistrol through the NASA contest. We were fascinated. Last Oshkosh, we went by and saw the G4 sitting there, and, and we started to re research the company, because anybody that can build an airplane that can do that, you have to pay attention to. And so we started doing our research on Pipistrol, and then we became fascinated with the types of construction, the quality of construction, uh, the, the sophisticated technology that they have. And they're not a new company. They've been in business for 25 years, so they were under the radar screen, kind of a hidden jewel. And then we went there. We went to Slovenia, myself and Jeff Puckett, who owns the company, and visited with them. And we're so uh, impressed. It's basically a Toyota factory that builds airplanes, you might say. And, uh, and now they're coming out with a, a revolutionary four-place airplane, which is the Panthera that people are learning about through the major uh, networks, and I'm sure you'll be reporting on it too. That airplane was rolled out at the Aero Friedrichshafen a couple of weeks ago. It's a four-place, 200-knot airplane on 10 gallons an hour, retractable airplane, which we'll see probably at next year's Oshkosh. And so this is a company that uh, people will start to pay attention to, I think, in the future here in the United States. Have you been a motor glider pilot? Or yes. Like, so that's yes. where your roots are then in yes. getting into this? Yes, I'm a glider rated pilot and uh, and I used to be VP of sales for Diamond Aircraft and, and back in those days I used to fly the Diamond Extreme Motor Glider around the country so I am familiar with them. 
what, what, what I'm not familiar with and what I'm getting used to now and learning about is the new, the new light sport uh, rules and regulations and airplanes. And of course, this is a, we're here at a light sport event. I have to admit, this is my, my first light sport event. And it's really interesting what uh, technology and what they've been able to do that various manufacturers. What is it that you're going to be offering to the public then? Are you going to be offering a full service uh, flight training, uh, and, uh, assembly, that type of thing to customers? We offer uh, airplanes that come as light sport aircraft, assembled, ready to fly. They can buy these same airplanes in kits. Um, we won't do the training here in Denver, Aspen Flying Club. We'll be doing the training for the folks that uh, buy airplanes from US Aero. Uh, so that's basically, we're airplane, we're with people who sell the new airplanes and support them and uh, work with other partners in terms of training. It's if they're registered as light sport aircraft, or they can also be bought as experimental airplanes. And, and of course, Paul's much more expert uh, than I am in terms of uh, the differences in regulations and performances, but I'll give you one example of that. This SW Virus that uh, is on here behind me, which is the short wing version, is limited to 120 knots if you take it as a light sport registered airplane. But if you buy it as an experimental airplane, it can go over 150 knots on four gallons an hour. And the difference is the type of propeller that you put on it but the airframe is capable of very, very high speeds. I flew one that was an experimental version, virtually the same airplane, in Slovenia a couple of weeks ago, and I saw 157 knots true airspeed on the glass panel at four gallons an hour. So what so, do you expect to have your first airplane delivered? We will have a Venus motor glider here by the end of June, and we will have a short wing, an SW Beerus, here also by the end of June here in Denver, and we're based at Centennial Airport. So if somebody want to get some more information, get in contact you, what's the easiest way to do it? They can contact me, Errol Bader, at US Aero, and uh, at 303-381-3344, and I'll be happy to talk to them and uh, and help them experience the new Pippa Stroll here in, in the Colorado area. And do you have a website that they can go to? U.S. Aero, www.usaero, U-S-A-E-R-O dot A-E-R-O, usaero dot Thank you very much for your time. Okay, thanks, Dave.